If you're thinking of doing some work around the outside of your house, I want you to pause for a second and listen because it really is important to be aware of what's underground before you start digging because many utility lines are buried only a few inches below. Joining me now from Southwest Gas is Sean Corbett. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So I know today is 8-8, but we're looking ahead to 8-11, 8-1-1. Uh, what is the importance of 811 day? So 811 day is just a reminder to call 811 before any digging project. It doesn't matter if you're a DIYer, a gardener like myself, or a contractor, always call 811 two days before you dig to make sure that all the utility lines are marked so that your project goes safely. Now, failing to call the number before digging could actually result in some serious consequences. What are some of those risks? Absolutely. The first thing we look out for is everyone's safety. You never know what's buried underground, and if you pierce a line, um, that could have dangerous consequences for people. Second of all, you don't want to cause a disruption. Everything from the internet is underground to water, electricity, and gas lines. Breaking those gas lines can cause whole neighborhoods to go out mm -hmm. for a period of time. You, you, you don't want to do that or even frustrate your kids by breaking your internet and they can't play their Xbox. And like we mentioned, some of these are just inches below the surface level, right? Particularly around homes, yeah. You may not know that it's only you know less than a foot uh, underground from where your meter is located or you may not be aware of where your electric line is located. So having those lines marked, they'll come out, they'll paint them, they'll put flags up. Then you know you can safely dig around that line to make sure your project goes good. And that's pretty much what happens when you call 811, that's the process? Yeah, so when you call 811 two, call 811 two days before any digging project, the utility companies send people out to mark the lines. We've probably seen the spray paint on the roads and different things, the yellows, the reds, the blues. Each color indicates a different utility line. They'll even put flags up um, in places where there's dirt so that you know to dig around that uh, and not disrupt that service. Now say someone does accidentally hit a line, what happens or what do they yes. do? So the way to detect a gas leak is we use our senses of sight, hearing and smell. So the first thing is if air looks like air is blowing up from the ground and you see a big poof of dust, that could be a gas leak. If you hear a loud hissing sound or a rushing sound, that could also be a sign of a gas leak. Smell is also very important. We add a product to gas called Mercaptan it smells like stinky rotten eggs. Mm. If you smell that stinky rotten egg smell, leave the area immediately, call 911, call Southwest Gas. Same advice goes for if any lines are broken, make sure you get a hold of, of the proper authorities and you do the safe thing and get away. All right, and then really quick, besides knowing the stinky egg smell, what's the best way to identify a natural gas leak? So be, beyond the stinky um, smell, um, which is the most, the, the easiest way for people is like I said, it's sight and sound. So you can also look, you know, hear a hissing sound or something like that. And you may see strange dust coming up from the ground or whatever the case may be. Those are the most common ways that you can detect a gas leak. And if you do, make sure you call 911 from a very safe place. All right, important stuff here. For more information, visit swgas.com slash safety or call that number on your screen. Remember, call two days before that digging project. Make sure you don't hit those lines. Sean, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right.